Hi, Keith here. Welcome to our summer art series. Today we will be creating shadows using complementary colors. To get started, let's look at a color wheel. The complementary color is its opposite on the wheel. So the complementary color of Red is green, orange is blue, yellow is violet. This is what we use to uh, create our shadows in watercolors. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to flip this over. Oh, look at that. We already have a yellow box ready to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the other two boxes. I'm going to start with an orange box. I'll just add a wee bit of water. Now I chose boxes because it gives us a chance to see the original color and then the shadowed color. I think this will work. That's my theory anyway, and I'm sticking to it. So... A lot of times people will attempt to create shadows using black and then graying it down and hoping, you know, that the uh, color works. Uh, more often than not, it doesn't. Uh, for example, can you imagine using black to shadow a banana? It just doesn't work. So, uh, we got an orange one. What else we need? Uh, ooh, let's do green. I think that'll be nice. All right. Pick some nice easy shapes <laughs> so I can get this get this done. Almost. All right. All right, speaking of bananas, here, I'm going to flip this upside down because it doesn't matter. Um, speaking of bananas, we're going to go ahead and uh, start with the yellow. Now, what I recommend is that you mix the color into the paint itself. Uh, rather than painting a layer of, say, violet over top of the yellow, I'm going to recommend that we take a little bit of the violet and mix it in with the yellow. And I don't know if you can see it on the big screen, but as you can see, how this yellow is graying down. Let's go ahead and go ahead and put it down here. Now, when we say graying or shadowing, um, this color, yellow is the only one that tends to be a little different, usually a little bit browner than the other colors. So as you can see, I've created a, a, a very good shadow uh, on this block. Um, wow, these dry very quickly. Let's go ahead and try the orange now. So we put a little orange down, we take the blue, and really a little dab will do you. You don't need a lot. 
You just have to experiment a little bit. I'm going to flip this one this way, keeping my hands out of everything. As you can see, this still maintains a nice value without, you know, without gray. And yet it is grayed down. It has been uh, shadowed. Okay. Now for me, the last one, red, is always a little bit tricky. Now, I'm going to say something. As you work with your colors and as you try different things, not all reds and greens are going to be the perfect shadow color. Um, I, I think you have to experiment a little bit, have a test piece of paper available um, so that you can experiment a little bit with your colors. So I'm going to try this red and this green together. That makes brown. I think I need a lot more green. There we go. Now add a little more red. And it darkens it right up. So, wow. Now both of these colors are extremely strong. Green and uh, red. So as you can see, I was able to create quite a shadow. All right. So, like I said, just a, a little dab will do ya. Um, it's kind of funny, the, uh, the green and the red, they're so equal in value that if you mix them equally, you actually create black. Um, which is actually a kind of a pretty shiny black, too. Um, but for this right now, I think this has uh, gotten the point across. Um, hopefully uh, you get your paints out and, and start uh, trying this. Anyway, that's it. Hey, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and check out rkmcguire.com.